Hello, this is Dr. Gabe from First Look MRI, and this is a 55-year-old female who has complaints of pain in her medial foot, just a mild tenderness and a bit of soft tissue prominence along the medial aspect of the midfoot towards the hind foot, and really no other significant complaints, just this area of, uh, again, palpable abnormality and tenderness um, near the navicular bone. And on this view here, we're doing a sagittal T1. We see she has something back here. This looks like it may be an adventitial bursitis. It's a chronic, and it uh, shows up here on the T2-weighted sequences um, as a little bit of fluid signal and some uh, dark rim around it. You can have fat necrosis from a pressure lesion or adventitial bursa develop, adventitial bursitis. But the interesting, the plantar fascia looks normal, but she doesn't have any symptoms here. Her symptoms were all along the medial aspect here, and I put a marker over the area. But this is the posterior tibial tendon coming down, and it should attach right here on the navicular bone. And we see the posterior tibial tendon doesn't look like it makes it quite there. It looks like there's bright signal right there. So this is a high-grade partial or almost a complete tear um, there at the navicular attachment. So we're going to do some axial images through this to look at it. So we're going to do the T1-weighted images first. Now on these, we're going to go to the top and follow this down. These are the axial T1-weighted images. This is lateral. So lateral, we have the perineus. Brevis and longest looking good. Anterior, we have the anterior tibial, extensor halysis, extensor digitorum tendons. They all look good. Now the medial side, we're going to have the three here, the posterior tibial tendon. This is the one that's torn. Flexor digitorum, flexor halysis. They look good. One, two, and then this is the problem. So the posterior tibial tendon, we're going to go up to the tibia. We're going to go down. We call this the juxtamalleolar. Here's the inframalleolar portion. And not too far down the inframalleolar portion, it starts to get too thick and too gray. And coming down to the insertion, you see very large hypertrophic uh, partial tear of the posterior tibial tendon, really gray. And then here's the attachment of the navicular bone bright signal there, so it's a high-grade partial tear. Maybe some of it stripped off a little bit. Now we can see there's also some deep fibers. Most of it goes to the navicular bone, but on this you can see that there's some deep fibers right here. They are intact, and you're going to follow those down, down, down. They're going to go here and attach to the bases of the other metatarsals uh, here. And they are intact, so that's why this is not retracted or pulled back, because this component here is fairly decent size and it's holding this on. So a high-grade hypertrophic partial tear of the posterior tibial tendon from the navicular attachment. The other components are intact and they're limiting this from completely ripping off and retracting backwards. And that's it. Thank you very much.